wake up this morning, Americans are still behind enemy lines in Afghanistan. President Biden ran on his foreign policy experience, but his decisions in the Middle East, particularly in Israel and Afghanistan, are continually being called into question. For more on that, I want to bring in the founder and executive chairman of the Beirut Institute, Regida Dagram. Uh, Regida, so nice to have you on. Good morning. Thank you very much for hosting me. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on. I read your op-ed, uh, very fascinating. You address the credibility of the Biden administration when it comes to foreign policy. Tell us about this. Well, the Biden administration is facing big credibility problems because of the debacle of the Afghanistan withdrawal. Of course, we do know that it was President Trump who decided to pull out from Afghanistan and Iraq as well. But it is the execution that took place, of course, had uh, not only the uh, American public angry and the generals of the American uh, army, mm -hmm. but also all uh, over the world. In fact, they're calling it the legacy of America's uh, betrayal, which is not the first time that America is, has the legacy of betrayal, but this time it's taken a different dimension. The eyes are now focused on Iraq because the Biden administration plans to pull out from Iraq. Again, it was a decision by President Trump. But the consequences of this pullout are really to watch out for, uh, because I think the United States cannot afford to lose more credibility and to let the Russians and the Chinese um, really call the shots together with Iran in this region. What did you mean, Regida, in your piece? You say that, that the president, President Joe Biden, wants to appease Europe. What do you mean by that? Yeah, Europe is very eager to uh, satisfy Iran. And uh, President Biden had decided that Europe is central to his foreign policy. Appeasing Europe means to really you know, play their game and uh, let them call the shots. And in this case, I'm sorry, the Europeans are not uh, in a position, uh, neither as an entity nor as individuals, to be given this authority by the United States. Uh, uh, the United States remains the superpower of the world, and it should not um, second yeah. uh, its own power to the Europeans. And I'm talking about how the Iranians, the Iranian regime, has been using Europe to get to what it wants and using Europe to get to what it wants from the United States as well. Quick follow-up. You said that Joe Biden doesn't want alliances against Iran and doesn't want to block Iran, but he wants to manage it. What do you mean by that? Uh, there is an obsession with the return to the JCPOA, which is, of course, the nuclear deal with Iran. Uh, the point is that this is being the preoccupation of the Europeans and of the Biden administration to the extent that they are not paying attention to what else is going on. Uh, there, is a, there is an undermining of the commitment to human rights, the commitment to justice. It's all happening because they're so afraid to annoy Iran any longer they feel in the Biden administration that it's a must for them to uh, get the JCPOA back on track. Yeah. Look at the foreign minister of Iran. He was just right now uh, in uh, Moscow with right. uh, his counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. And there they, he was saying, listen, it's going to be my way. And I insist that I am not going to listen to you, Russia, telling me that you're going to guarantee the uh, security of Israel. You need to step back from that. And you need to just make sure that you are okay. my partner and not the Americans. Uh, uh, don't help the Biden administration or the United States in any way. Regina so Durham, thank you so much. Uh, we, we've got it. We've got to uh, end it right just there. Just one last word, if yep, you permit certainly. me. Just please, please pay attention to what's happening in Syria. There is a total. Uh, it, it, it's a terrible thing that's going on by the Biden administration. There is there is a de facto rehabilitation of the. President Bashar al-Assad, and including stepping on, on the, including um, circumventing laws such as the Caesars Act. Rashida Durgham, uh, enjoy reading you in The National. Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us this morning. Come Thank back and see much. us soon. Thank you.